I think it's too late to do that. You know, it's a similar kind of thing. I don't think, I'm not sure what I think about um, pulling out of troops out of Iraq now. You know, you can't go in and stuff up a country and then when the going gets tough and the pressure's on, leave and pretend it didn't happen and, you know, leave this country in a mess. I mean, I don't know if staying helps either, but I think it's a similar sort of thing with um, with the West's relationship with Africa. Um, they are too closely um, intertwined at this point and the West is too closely implicated in where Africa's at now, thanks to colonialism. You know, the West got rich off that and is still rich off of it. And so... Um, I don't think it's something the West can just walk away from and say, okay, well, you guys figure it out because, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's too late. How you go about structuring that relationship so that it's not paternalistic or it's not opportunistic, I don't, I'm not quite sure, but um, I definitely think they should still be doing something. And this whole shift to focusing on the, on the Middle East has meant that Africa has suffered in a sense in terms of um, foreign aid and you know just general interest in um, you know funding projects in Africa and again it's sort of evident of of the West kind of just often will just drop something you know and move on to the next sort of disaster area and <laughs> I don't I don't think that's difficult.